to episode 11 in which we are looking at question 11 from the 2021 GCE Mathematics Paper 2. And the question of interest today is from transformation and it leads answer the O of this question on a sheet of graph paper. The vertices of a triangle ABC are a 40, 30, 40, 70, 70, 70, while that of triangle A1, B1, C1 are A20, 15, B1, 20, 35, C1, 35, 35. Using a scale of 2 cm to represent 10 units on each axis for values of X and Y from 0 to 70, draw and label triangles. A, B, C, A1, B1, C1. So what is key here is understanding the 2 cm represents 10 units. So once we do that, then you can easily get the 2 marks for, for free. So let us go to the graph, hmm? uh, graph paper that we expect to be provided with in an exam. Okay, so once we are given a graph paper, a graph paper of this measurement. So from here to here, a standard uh, graph paper is 2 cm and it will have about 8 to 9 boxes. Then, so what it means is from here to here we measure 10 units. So this is what you've seen, the graph has already been labeled. So 10, 20, 30, up to 70 on the y axis, similarly on the x axis in, the, in that way. So once we, we do that, we label like that, then it's a matter of just now labeling this. So we know that uh, side A, side A is 40, 30, so 40 in the x-axis, 30, which is here. So this is point A. Then B is 40, 70, so 40 x-axis, then 70 y-axis. So it's here, then this is point B. Then we have 70, 70, which is this one, and this is C. So we join this with a ruler and we draw a triangle like this. Okay, I'm sketching. So you draw a triangle like that. And this is B, that is C, and this is A. So that's the first part. Then the second part, A1, A1 is basically 20, 15. So 20, 15 is somewhere halfway here. Okay, and this is A1. Then B is 20,35, so 20,35, so it's somewhere here halfway, and this is B1. Then C1 is 35,35, so which is somewhere along this point, somewhere here, which is C1. Then we join this, and we join that. Let me use a different color so that you compare them properly, like this. Then this is a triangle. So that's C, uh, C1 or A1. Then describe fully, which is B. So when, once you do that, you get these two marks. B, describe fully a single transformation that maps triangle ABC on two triangle A1, B1, C1. So the first thing that you notice here is the two triangles, they look similar. The shapes have not changed. That's the first thing that you, you notice. The shape remains the same. The angles remain unchanged. Then if you compare the sides, the sides, they have just reduced, but they remain parallel. So this side, this line, and this line, they are parallel. Then this line, and this line, they are parallel. Then this line, and this line, they are parallel. Okay? So what you notice there is, in this case, the first thing that we need to notice here is this most likely, uh, it's a not rotation, but it's most likely to be a enlargement or reduction. But since it's becoming small, it's a reduction. So we can find, describe this by understanding the reduction. So the reduction is, if you compare two sides, so the value of uh, A1, a1 in terms of maybe x axis is 20, so trying to find the factor is 20, then of the original is 40, so 20 divided by 40 is 0.5. Then, similarly, when you look at maybe C, C it was 70, 
So the original one was in 70, then the new one is 35. Let's see, 35, so 70, then we get 0.5. So basically, you see the opposite of enlargement. So it's a reduction by what? Half. So we are reducing it by half. So we're enlarging it by half, so we are reducing it with it, the center being what? Origin. So if you join this line from here to here, you discover that it will pass there. Then A and A to pass here, then C, they will, they will be parallel like that. So that's the description. So this one is a reduction within the center of reduction being the origin. So that's how you describe the first part in full. So you compare the sides to see what is happening. So that's it, part B to get those a free marks. So it's a reduction by a factor. What's the factor? This is the factor. The factor K, okay? then at the center. Uh -huh. So the reduction is 0.5 at the center. So this is a reduction, the opposite of enlargement. Okay, or dilation. Then let us look at C. So C, a rotation of 180 degrees, about 20, 40. So 20, 40 is where is here. We have there. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll put a star there. Maps triangle. Uh, A1, B1, C1 on the triangle, A2, B2, C2. Determine the coordinates of A2, B2, and C2. So this one you can easily determine it graphically. It's much more easier graphically. So I'm saying 180. So if it's 180, what it means is these, these the corresponding points are joined by a straight line. So I'll draw a straight line here. So this line will have an opposite here. So that when you join this line, it will be 180. So this one will be B2. Then similarly, if I join a straight line, it will be uh, basically the same straight line. So it will move here from here all the way. So if you move, you're moving from here all the way. So you're moving from A all the way. So all the way up to uh, uh, somewhere here. What you notice here, it will be somewhere in, in at uh, basically 65 so 65 to come up to here somewhere up this will be a2 okay then such that this becomes a straight line then c also will be opposite the straight line so c will go to uh, basically uh, half of 10 which is uh, basically in this line which is about uh, 5 here okay so that's where it will be. Then we're going to have C2 here. Then you join this triangle, then it will be like this, like this. So what you notice here, this is exactly the 180 rotation. So C has moved 180 rotation such that this becomes a straight line. Then A also 180 degrees, straight line, then B the same. So basically this is how you, you, you answer this question. So then you just pick up the coordinates. So what you discover is, a becomes basically 20 comma 65 then that's a then a2 then similarly you pick for for b which is now in this case 20 comma 45 then c5 comma 45 so basically that's how you answer that question so these are the coordinates then d a b1 a1, B1, C1 is mapped on two triangle A3, B3, C3 by a single transformation if it is A3, 40, 15. So 40, 15. Okay. So 40, 15 is somewhere here, which we shall call it as use a black one. 40, 15 here. Then we have uh, 40, 35, 40, 35 somewhere here okay so this is a3 this is b3 then we have 70 comma 35 70 comma 35 somewhere here then we draw this line then we draw this line then we draw this line so we have this is c3 then you draw that one mark then the last three describe fully this transformation so we want to describe this transformation fully. So what you notice here is, uh, 
the movement so we are moving from a in this direction you see in this direction so in this direction what it means is we are moving uh, perpendicular parallel to x axis but perpendicular to the y axis okay then if you compare the movement if you compare the movement uh, this is 20 this is 40 which is twice then similarly c this is 40 this is twice c is 35 then twice 70 so what you are doing is what you are observing is is basically a stretch so we are stretching this uh this uh, triangle we are stretching it with uh, x axis so x axis with x is y axis being the what the invariant y axis being the invariant line okay invariant line so by what factor so the factor is twice so all the points that move twice distant from the y axis because y axis is the invariant line so this in the form of uh, this factor 0 0 1 as a stretch factor so k in this case is just basically uh, if you pick point a the value is 40 divided by the original 20 is a 2 70 divided by the original value 35 is a 2 so in this case k is 2 which is the stretch factor 2 so we have this matrix so if you stretch factor of 2 uh, an invariant line being the y axis so basically these are things that you need to use to describe this one so the invariant line and the stretch factor so you need to observe what is happening the angles have not changed but the area has changed so since the area has changed then you see that we are doing a shear factor or stretch factor but the shear factor the area does not change it remains the same the shape is distorted but the area remains fixed in this case shape is maintained and the area changes so it's a, a stretch factor so basically this is how you answer question 11 to get the 12 out of 12 marks Thank